Hello everyone. In today's video, I thought I'd try something a little different. So, I'm titling this video, Drawing for Hobbyists. In this video, I thought I'd share why it might be fun to learn to draw, to improve your hobby experience, so you could make things like fan art, or you want to maybe want to design like a freehand design for a banner, or a shoulder pauldron or something or maybe you want to conceptualize some conversions you want to do when you want to draw it out and plan ahead of time you can draw with that so I thought it might be nice for everyone to know some basic uh, drawing skills and I know this is a whole huge subject onto itself so I thought I'd give some very uh, introductory concepts in this video and if it gets any kind of positive response I could do more so in drawing I'm uh, referring more to like sketching making kind of rough outlines drawing and then they're painting and then there's uh, the whole gambit so uh, in this one I'm gonna I'm going over some basic you know how to like draw how to draw from reference or imagination with the pencil you know getting outlines maybe not so much worry, worrying about shading but you know you can go there too and yeah, there's a whole gambit, but I just thought I'd share some introductory concepts. So I'm going to basically describe what I wish I would have learned when I first started drawing, uh, what I wish someone would have told me. And uh, I think the big picture concepts are to really focus on the basics. So it, it's been my observation that uh, people who are new to drawing, they want to they want to focus on advanced stuff and people who are very advanced or experts they want to practice the basic concepts so i'll give you a little example so let's say someone who's new to drawing they want to draw their favorite dragon ball z character so they look at some reference and then they just start going to town you know spiky hair uh, big eyes a nose uh, neck um, yeah there's a issue with my Cintiq so I'll be using a mouse to draw in this video so uh, that should be fun yeah so yeah and then they uh, they uh, start doing muscles and And then, uh, yeah, you see how they're just kind of, I'm just focusing on the outlines, not thinking about the, the structure or the gesture, uh, just basic, uh, you know, drawing what you see <clears throat> in the reference. Um, you know, there's no planning as to how this fits on, like, uh, the composition of the, the picture frame. Yeah, so then, you know, that's how a lot of people start. But what I would recommend is to, rather than just immediately jumping to, like, anatomy and details, maybe start with, you know, just getting good at, like, basic shapes. So... That would be cube. A cylinder. And a sphere. So just get really good at these shapes and also being able to draw these shapes in perspective. And if this is kind of intimidating, then maybe just try uh, orthographic view or two-dimensional view of it and I guess the square and the cylinder will look the same in in uh, 2d so maybe just skip that and just go straight to the circle maybe try a triangle or a cone and so from these basic shapes you can pretty much create anything if you just modify them a little bit so for instance if you want to draw a head, you just take a you pretty much, pretty much just need a, a sphere and a cube. 
but in three-dimensional space, you'd think of it as, okay, here's the sphere. Now I'll draw a little line in the center. Okay, I'm kind of dividing it into sections. Okay, so here's the front, here's the side, and then let me just drop a line here, and then drop a line here. And then now that's the the cranial shape or mass for the, the of the skull, and now we just need a wedge shape, which is like a cube for the rest of the face. So here's the jaw. Let me carry that line down, and then the chin, and then oh, yeah. So here we have a basic face shape. So then you can add some ears. And then this would be around where the eyebrows are. Some orbs for the eyeballs. And then a little number two shape for the nose. And then a line for the lip. And of course you can always, this is a basic guide. You can, we're gonna be modifying this. So just don't be afraid to just start and just, uh, you can modify it later, so. The brow, focusing on the silhouette of the cheek. Okay, and then now we have the eye. And here we go, we have a pretty basic sketch of a head. Okay, and then draw on some brows. Chin, hairline. And then of course we can just erase some of these construction lines. Again, I'm not going to go too crazy with uh, cleaning this up, but I think the message is being conveyed, hopefully. And we have some pupils. up a little bit and yeah here we go we can here we can see we have a, a basic kind of face shape it, it <laughs> I kind of made the eye a little bit bigger here but you know it, I think you see my point is just to maybe try to think about if you're having a hard time drawing maybe think about the underlying volumes in forms you're trying to work with And also remember, I am working with a, commu a computer mouse. So, yeah, so here we go. A basic head with a sphere and a cube. And, you know, you can carry this on with the whole body. So, here's the head, neck. And then we can kind of think of the, the, the rib cage as kind of an egg shape. And then you can think of the pelvis as kind of like a bucket or like a cylinder. And then you can kind of think of the shoulder cage as an extruded kind of square or rectangle. And then you can think of the arms as kind of like cylinders there's a lot of ways you can kind of extract or make extractions of, of uh, forms. And then I'll just simplify the hands as cubes. And then a 
legs, I'll make simple cylinder shapes. So here we go, there's a basic uh, man. And the nice thing about thinking in volumes is it's very easy to think about shading and how light would fall on it because it's a easier to think about how lighting would fall on uh, basic shapes. So, you know, here's the shadow side. And here, here's the light side. And so, you know, and with this basic shape, you can go back and add muscles and anatomy and you know, really go to town with it. But with the basic uh, shapes in place, you know, it really makes it easier to simplify what you're drawing and not get lost in in details that aren't as important because I feel so many people that are new to drawing they focus on de secondary details without really understanding the you know the core shapes or volumes of what they're drawing yeah so some knees yes yeah, so here we go and then some eyes And then here's a little sketch I made earlier. It's not really a drawing, it's more of a painting, but it goes to show how more complexity can emerge from just understanding these core principles. So you can see, you know, with the shading, you know, I'm really thinking of this arm as a cylinder and how light is gonna wrap around it. It's gonna, there's gonna be a, a gradation of shade around the cylinder shape of the arm and then towards where the light meets the shadow in where it terminates there's an accelerating gradation and that it's easier to think about if you're thinking about basic volumes and shapes as opposed to just kind of trying to copy from a reference image without really thinking about it and you know it's like this muscle this bicep here it's like a an orb shape so i can i can see where the shadow is going to be and then an accelerating gradation and then where the light is so and like this shoulder pad is pretty much just like a section of a cylinder and this whole uh, torso section of armor is like a cylinder with like a cutout for the abdomen and so yeah this has been a very basic introduction to uh, drawing which i think is uh useful for the hobby and just for just being creative in general and with this one can you know make fan art or plan out like a banner or 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 create your own concept art for any kind of conversions or kit bashes you want to make so let me know if you have any comments or questions in down below and if you like this content please let me know i appreciate and i thank you for watching this video if you like my content please consider liking and subscribing thank you have a great day bye bye